Newcastle United are currently 18th place in the Premier League relegation zone with only two wins so far this entire season. And they've just spent more money than any other team in the entire world. This transfer window with 90 million pounds spent. No, not Real Madrid, not Manchester City, not Chelsea, Newcastle United. Now, of course, unless you guys have been living under a rock or just somehow you don't know anything about football, the biggest footballing story over the last year was the fact that Newcastle United became the richest club in world football. And we all knew, come the first transfer window, that they would be spending big. But spending 90 million pounds on five players, we're going to be asking the question today, is it enough to keep them in the Premier League? Now, of course, guys, if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen me do this kind of content before, if it is your cup of tea, or I guess with Newcastle United's new money coming in, you could have champagne for breakfast, lunch, and supper. But if it is your cup of tea to see this kind of content on a regular basis, don't forget to subscribe down below. But as I said, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the five key signings Newcastle United made this transfer window. We're going to be looking at how they fit into this Newcastle United system, how Newcastle United should set up their starting 11 going forward, and is it enough to stay in the Premier League? As I said, five key signings, and it could be major major good news for this club upgrades people upgrades but without wasting any more of your time in terms of how i think newcastle united should go forward for the rest of the premier league season in terms of the starting 11 obviously starting off between the posts it is going to be an easy one as it has to be dubravka obviously this is his fifth season in the premier league with newcastle united no it doesn't have the most clean sheets out of any other goalkeeper in the league but as we know on multiple occasions has saved newcastle united's butts as we know a very reliable goalkeeper between the posts only 33 years old got a few more years left in him and in the meantime I'll definitely say is their most reliable option to put in the goal in terms of Newcastle United's new defense they've got three new defenders in their squad and as we know heading into the season this was Newcastle United's weakest position in their team so with a whole new look defense this could be big news for them Obviously, in the right back position, it has to be Kieran Trippier for 12 million pounds coming straight fresh out of a league winning season with Atletico Madrid. What a world class signing has still been linked, even at his current age, to Manchester United. So, for Newcastle United to grab him for 12 million pounds, as I said, a league winning right back, I think that is an absolutely brilliant um, signing for them. As I said, I think in terms of a modern day fullback, I think Kieran Trippier is absolutely brilliant. We know his attacking chance can be very very deadly and as we know with one or two key signings in Newcastle United's attack I think getting deliveries and crosses into the box Kieran Trippier will be your man he's also not too bad at the occasional set piece obviously on the left back position I do think Newcastle United have been very very lucky to have a player like Matt Ritchie I think Ritchie's been a phenomenal left back for them but obviously I am going to put the likes of Matt target there obviously currently signed on a six month loan deal from Aston Villa and I know a lot of people have been laughing about the signing but Matt Target only 26 years old is an absolutely phenomenal young player still still got a lot of years left in him and we cannot forget although Aston Villa have just signed Lucas Denier Matt Target was Aston Villa's player of the season last season despite the fact that they have the likes of Ollie Watkins they had Jack Grealish for Matt Target to get the Aston Villa player of the season really shows his strength once again a lot like Kieran Trippier in terms of a modern day fullback that can create attacking chances and get back to do the defensive job I think Matt targets we could see a permanent uh, deal happen from a situation like this as I said I think Newcastle United are absolutely sorted in the fullback positions in terms of the two centre backs obviously centre back number one is going to be the current captain of Newcastle United as it is going to be Lachelle's now I know a lot of people have their different opinions about him in terms of whether he's good enough for the club but as we know a proper leader on the pitch obviously a very physical leadership kind of centre back obviously being the captain you kind of have to have that leadership Are you sure about that? But as we know, a very bossy centre-back doesn't really take nonsense. Yes, not the best centre-back in the entire world, but for Newcastle United and their current situation staying in the Premier League is good enough to start and definitely their best option out of their current centre-backs. And of course, their fourth and final defender, the other centre-back, a brand new player in the likes of Dan 
burn signed from brighton and i am a major fan of the signing to be honest with you obviously 13 million pounds he wasn't really getting the game time he probably deserved at brighton because they've got that competition with duffy dunk and one or two other players but looking at burn i really like his numbers if you compare him to someone like clark who's already at newcastle united defensively in almost every single statistic burn completely outshines him despite the fact that they've had the exact same amount of appearances so far this season as i said an absolutely brilliant looking center back 29 years old i think in the short term for three four years could be an absolutely brilliant signing in the defense and i think that kind of really lays the out a solid foundation at the back for Newcastle United and obviously Dan Byrne growing up as a Newcastle United fan came through Newcastle United's academy it's always good to see a story of a boy coming back to his childhood club but ladies and gentlemen that is the defense and moving on to the midfield I've gone for a three midfielder system now of course one or two signings there but midfielder number one I've gone for is the likes of John Joe Shelby. Now, once again, this man looks like he's been about 32 years old for the last five years, which is weird because he's only 29 years old now. But with two goals so far this season, has scored more goals than any other midfielder for Newcastle United. This is a position that Newcastle United have been struggling for quite a while. But I've always believed that Shelby is one of those players with the correct attack in front of him, with the correct midfielders working with him, is a brilliant creator option as we know he's really good with his long passes he's really good with kind of his vision in terms of finding the perfect attacking opportunity I think John Joe Shelby is still good enough to stay in this Newcastle United team at least in the meanwhile obviously the midfielder I'm going to put next to him on the right hand side or the left hand side doesn't really matter is going to be Joe Willock now yes I know Joe Willock hasn't really performed so far this season but as we know still a bright and up-and-coming youngster only 22 years old so far this season hasn't really really created the opportunities that were expected of him with zero goals and zero assists in 17 games but I think lots of Newcastle United fans are still going to look at the fact last season out on loan at Newcastle United scoring eight goals in 14 games that kind of proves to you that he is a player who's got that in his locker you just kind of have to break off the padlock to get into the locker I still think Joe Willock's got a very exciting future ahead of him and I still think he deserves a chance at Newcastle United and of course the final midfielder just brought in from Olympic Lyon it is going to be Bruno Guimaraes obviously 35 million pounds their most expensive signing this transfer window and one of the biggest ones obviously in terms of a defensive midfielder I don't think Newcastle United could have done a better job this transfer window I mean just looking at his statistics in the French league he had the second most foul one in the entire French league out of any other player he was first in terms of passes in the final third completed obviously he was third place in terms of through balls completed in the league first in terms of passes in the opponent's half completed in terms of both a creative attacking and a defensive option I think Guimaraes is going to be the difference maker for this Newcastle United team I think there's no doubt that he's going to be a starting midfielder as I said this is probably the signing that has impressed me the most for Newcastle United and looking at those three midfielders for Newcastle United I know it's not the strongest in the league but it should be good enough at least to stay in the Premier League in the meantime now moving on to the attack for Newcastle United I've obviously got the three attackers up front I'm not completely happy with some of the options they have such as in the right wing position they still have the likes of Ryan Fraser obviously one assist so far this season that's literally all I can say statistically about him I haven't been that impressed with him as a signing in total but obviously I think with the other players around him in the team once again the team is still good enough to probably stay in the Premier League but this is definitely a position Newcastle United to have to look at improving come the next transfer window but looking at the left wing side and outside obviously we've got the likes of Alan St. Maximin by far out of any player if you had to keep one player in this team while rebuilding it it would be St. Maximin as we know he could probably play for any club in the entire world he could move to a Real Madrid in my opinion he could move to a Manchester City probably because he's one of those players he creates the right opportunities obviously five goals and three assists so far this season now that doesn't sound that impressive to most but he has been carrying this Newcastle United team and in a proper team in a proper system I think that he could really show how world-class he truly is now moving on to the final player in the striker position I've gone for Chris Wood which yes I know that's going to surprise a lot of people and I don't just mean that because Wilson is quite often injured I truly think that maybe going forward Chris Wood could be a better option than 
Wilson. Although Chris Wood has played more Premier League games throughout his career than Wilson, he's played less minutes than Wilson, but he has scored more goals than Wilson. He's got a better goal per minute ratio in the Premier League, has scored 93 Premier League goals. Obviously, he's played for multiple clubs, but the one that you would know him for is Burnley. He has been one of Burnley's best players for years now. A £25 million signing. And can I say this? I wouldn't say it was the best signing for Newcastle United, but this might be the smartest one. Obviously, it was a major foot race to escape the relegation zone between Burnley and Newcastle United at the time so for Newcastle United to sign their rivals main striker is a big power move look it's a bit of a kick to the balls to be honest with you but I think Chris Wood is an amazing signing as I said a better goal to minute ratio than Wilson but whether you play one over the other I don't think it matters too much and throughout the majority of his Premier League career bar this season Wood has been a more than 10 goal a season kind of Premier League striker I think he is heavily underrated and if you play him up front with St. Maximum next to him. Once again, I think you can only expect to see goals. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I expect Newcastle United's starting 11 to look like for the rest of the season. As I said, I know it looks really, really good. There are weak points such as the right wing position and maybe another midfielder. I know that. But I think it's good enough to stay in the Premier League. Obviously, time of recording, Newcastle United are only one point away from escaping the relegation zone, four points away from 16th place. I think Newcastle United could seriously, seriously do it. Obviously, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on the matter, if you think they will escape. Now, once again, yes, there are also other options in which I could have gone for a starting 11. Obviously, Joe Linton has kind of moved to a midfielder role. Not a role he was signed to, but a role that he's been doing extremely, extremely well. So you could play him over some someone like Joe Willock and I would completely understand that. Once again, you could play someone like Wilson over Chris Wood. Once again, I would also understand that Wilson is a very, very good striker. But once again, I think that Newcastle United now have the correct weapons to escape this battle of the relegation zone. I think they've got, got good enough players and I'm excited to see the journey they've got for the rest of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Once again, slightly different than normal. And if you do want to catch more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe down below. I would love to hit, I don't know what our next goal is, 3,500 very, very soon within the next month or two, if that is even possible. As I know, the channel has been growing for quite a while now. I've just been appreciating all the support as of late, trying to kind of dive back into the Premier League content and I hope you guys do end up appreciating that but guys thank you so much for watching like subscribe all of the good things Newcastle United you're in for a very exciting time cheers